This the life that I dream of. This the life that I dream of. This the life. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Fit360 Over 40. If it's your first time here, I'm Ashley, and I hope you're having a productive day. Today I want to talk about the supplements that I take on a day-to-day -day basis, what they do for me personally um, on my health journey. I do want to start this out with a disclaimer that I am not an expert. I'm not trained in any of this. These are just things that through my research and my husband's research, we have come to find work for us individually. I'm not recommending that you buy these or you buy a certain kind, but it's important to know what my experience is and maybe that'll help some of you make an informed decision on if you are considering adding um, supplements or herbs to your daily routine. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I take is I take an iron pill and I take this about every two to three days. Um, the last time I had a CBC, which is a complete blood count, my red blood cell count was low, which means you could be slightly anemic and low on iron. And my doctor said it wouldn't hurt to incorporate an iron supplement into my routine. Um, but because I'm not actually anemic and it's not actually too low, I only do this every two to three days. The next thing I take um, is I take curcumin or curcumin. I've heard it said both ways. So curcumin is a curcuminoid. It's part of the turmeric root. And there are some really interesting um, health benefits that can be garnished from taking this supplement. So I did take some notes and I, I'm going to tell you a, a little bit about to, uh, curcumin. So it's the main active greedy ingredient in turmeric. It is a power, powerful anti-inflammatory and a strong antioxidant. I will tell you that from my own personal experience, I have noticed a, a big difference in how my joints feel since I started taking the curcumin. So, um, being a bigger size, my knees can tend to hurt, um, especially after workouts or a lot of walking around. And I have no knee pain since I started taking the curcumin. Um, I take two of these at night, every night. So, turmeric contains bioactive compounds with powerful medicinal properties. It's a natural anti-inflammatory compound, which is what I take it for. I've had the most um, benefit from my uh, the anti-inflammatory properties. It also can dramatically increase the antioxidant capacity of the body. It boasts brain-derived neuro neurotrophic factor linked to improved brain function and lower risk of brain diseases. And it can slow your risk of heart disease for those other reasons. Again, the main reason I take it is for um, the anti-inflammatory results I see in my joints. The next thing I take, and I take this one pill a day at night, and it is called ashwagandha. So ashwagandha is the small shrub with flowers. It's native to India and North Africa. Extracts or powder from the plant's roots or leaves are used for a variety of conditions. What I've noticed the most from this is it really helps with my stress levels. That's one of the things that it, it can help with if you incorporate it. It really helps me feel less stress. Um, but it also has a little bit of cortisol lowering um, properties to it. And it can help you sleep a little bit better. So that's why I take that particular one at night. So it can reduce your blood sugar levels. It can reduce cortisol levels. It may reduce stress and anxiety. It may reduce symptoms of depression. And it may reduce inflammation. So it has a host of reasons that I take it personally um, because I have had issues with stress and anxiety. And this seems to help manage that a little bit better without having to add in any harmful chemicals. The next thing I take is also for stress and anxiety. Um, it's called Rhodiola rosea extract. Um, this one is an herb 
It grows in the in cold mountainous regions of Europe and Asia. Um, it sounds really, really fancy. Um, it helps your body adapt to stress. So when you take these, it helps your body adapt better. This one also has a slightly um, stimulant property to it. Not anything like caffeine, but because of that, I take it in the morning versus taking the ashwagandha at night. It can, discre it can decrease stress. It can fight fatigue. It can help reduce symptoms of depression, improve, improve brain function, and improve exercise performance. So there's a lot of um, potential benefits that it has. The main reason I take it is that in conjunction with the ashwagandha lowers your cortisol levels and helps you deal with stress better. The next thing I take, and I take one of these at night, um, is biotin. So this one is also known as vitamin B7. It's a water-soluble B complex, essential for growth and development of all organisms. So B7 is, is something that helps your hair grow. It helps your nails grow. It helps your skin feel better and, and reproduce those skin cells that you lose. So, um, but it's also necessary for energy metabolism. They may, it may be beneficial for type 2 diabetes. It may lower your risk of heart disease. Needed for a healthy immune system. And promote skin, hair, and nail health. I take it because I read that it is good for your hair, skin, and nails. So it really comes down to, that's why I take it. Um, as we get older and our hair ages... It's a little bit more difficult to keep it looking shiny and fresh and young. And one of the supplements that's re recommended for that is biotin. So that's why I started taking it. And then as I was doing research, I learned it may have other health benefits besides just healthy hair, skin, and nails. So I was pretty excited to learn that. And then the last supplement that I take in my routine is called ZMA. Or I call it Zima for fun. But it's zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6. It usually comes in a container and it says ZMA on it. And I take two of these at night. The reason I take it at night is it does have properties that help you sleep. Um, the other main reason I take it is magnesium really helps people who have headaches. And I've been having headaches since I was six or seven years old. For as long as I can remember, I have been a headache sufferer. So incorporating the magnesium helps me have headaches a little bit less. I've been taking this for a couple years now, and I have seen a decrease in the frequency of headaches. It doesn't necessarily help with the strength or um, the severity of the headache, but I have seen a decrease in the frequency that I have headaches. I used to have headaches two to three times a week. And now most of the time, um, if I have just a headache, it once every couple of weeks that I'll have one come up out of nowhere. But it also may, may boost immunity. It may help improve your sleep. may aid in blood sugar control. may elevate your mood. And uh, the magnesium helps with headaches. So, there's a lot of good benefits to this. I mean, there's also, you know, zinc is used quite a bit in cold prevention. So, there's other benefits to this. But, the main reason I started taking this is because it helps me sleep. And it helps me um, lower the amount of headaches that I have in my life. So, those are all the supplements that I'm currently taking. Um, beef. You know, it would be cool to hear if you guys have any suggestions on supplements that may help uh, me or what a, how a supplement's benefited you. So leave something in the comments if you have any suggestions. One thing I do want to mention, if you are going to incorporate turmeric, um, curcumin in your routine, you want to look for one that has black pepper extract. That's very important to the absorption of the curcuminoid into your system. So you want to look for one that has black pepper extract in it. Um, but pop, pop a comment below if you have any suggestions of other supplements to try or things that have worked for you. If you like what you see here, feel free to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell if you want to be notified of my uploads. 
I'm trying to upload two to three times a week as time allows. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for joining me. See you later. This the life that I dream of. This the life that I dream of. This the life.